I wanted to make a quick follow-up video to the um, video I just put out on um, Elizabeth Short, the sinking uh, and the sinking of the Edmund Fitzgerald. And I was just sitting here and um, something came to me because I was thinking about um, March 14th, the day that the Ed Burns suicide note was from, um, which was a letter that um, was supposedly someone taking credit for the murder of Elizabeth Short, also known as the Black Dahlia. And then it, it struck me that March 14th, 314 was Pi Day. And the sinking of the Sir um the Edmund Fitzgerald happened on the 314th day of the year, November 10th, 1975. And Elizabeth Short equals 75, just like Lake Superior where they say the Edmund Fitzgerald sank in Lake Superior is one of the big, is one of the, is the biggest lake of the Great Lakes. An observation that I missed was that the Great Lakes equals 75 as well as 51 and November 10th, 1975 was the day that leaves 51 days left in the year. So I was like, wow, that really kind of blew me away. And then if you watch the video, um, I make the observation that they do the recovery mission for the bell from the Edmund Fitzgerald on July 4th. 1995 in Pi Day was officially started back in 1988 on March 14th, which uncoincidentally was the 74th day of the year. And what's crazy is the person who is credited as the founder of Pi Day, Larry Shaw, Larry equals 74. And they say Larry worked at the Exploratorium in San Francisco for 33 years. And Exploratorium equals 74. So you see here, Larry Shaw, they even have it documented. You do a little bit of Google search. And it's very well documented that he spent 33 years here. And there's a special relationship with the number 33 and 74 in to the occult. Jesus, one special association is, they say Jesus died at the cross at 33 years, and 74 is a very special number to the whole story of Jesus. But I thought, wow, what are the odds that the Ed Burns suicide note was found on Pi Day, 1947? And the Edmund Fitzgerald sunk on the 314th day of the year. And they say that the Edmund Fitzgerald split into two pieces, just like how... Elizabeth Short's body was mutilated. Um, her torso and her legs were um, detached from each other with surgical precision. And the majority of people want to try to blame it on a 13-year-old child, um, which is complete mockery. And Ed Burns, the encoded name in the note that was found on Pi Day, Ed Burns equals 106, just like sinking equals 106. Like how the Titanic sank on the 106th day of the year, 
Um, so it is no coincidence that March 14th, 1947 was chosen for the specific, for the supposed finding of this note, which was a very big part of the Black Dahlia murder story and how it all ties in to this ritual that they did with the sinking of the Edmund Fitzgerald thing about Edmund Edwards Ed and what I discovered which is crazy Ed um, in satanic equals 79 and 79 is the 22nd prime number Elizabeth Short was 22 at the age of her murder. Murder equals 79. And Stephen Avery, his birthday is July 9th or 7 slash 9. In case you didn't know, Stephen Avery is the person who was framed for the murder of Teresa Halbach on uh, Halloween 2005. So think about the Ed, Edmund, emphasis on Ed. And it reminds me of a lot of two very notorious serial killers, <clears throat> Ed Gein and Ed Kemper. So there is definitely something very satanic behind behind the name Ed and something that I found very interesting about the satanic cipher is that it begins with the number 36 the triangular number one of the triangular numbers and that is 666 and I found it also interesting that it ends on Z or Z and Jesus equals 61 and Satanism is obsessed with Jesus symbolism. So I found that interesting and 61 also a special number in sacred geometry. There's 61 circles within the flower of life. I hope I'm saying that correctly, but special number. So I found that very interesting behind our, um, the fact that this satanic cipher is set up this way, especially with the beginning of 36 in its association with the number 666. And a lot of people may just say, hey, that's just a number. It doesn't mean anything. But why? Is it always associated, especially within popular culture, with demonic sp spiritual forces? You ought to ask yourself, if it's just a number, then why is it associated with evil? Um, so yeah, I think that's all I got. Just an observation I made. Um, so yeah, have a good night.